What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Welcome to the new tip series I'm doing where, you know, I'm going in depth about, you know, anything you guys really want me to. In the last video, I was talking about how to fish a flown worm slash weightless worm. Um, for the most part, it seemed like you guys loved it. You know, a lot of tips in the video. And I said, leave a comment below on what you guys want me to go over. And this is actually what I want to be going over is talking about the gear ratio of your reel and why I use what I use. And um, this is one of the suggested ones that were down below and i decided to talk about this today so if you guys have any tips that you guys want me to go over anything guys if it's, if it's about rod and reel i can do that if it's about fishing i can do that if it's about a certain bait i can do that it's how to fish a certain bait i can do that um, as you guys can tell i have a 13 fishing concept a right here and um brand new out of the box and so this is what i'm going to be talking about today so the main question was what gear ratio is the best all-around gear ratio so say you're on a budget you know you're looking to buy you know one, one rod and reel but you don't know what reel you want to buy gear gear ratio wise as i've preached for years guys pretty much the only gear ratio i use is either seven one to one or seven three to one 13 fishing is actually seven three to one and um the the reason why i use that you know you got you got five one uh, you got five gear ratio reels, you got <laughs> eight gear ratio reels, you got seven seven to one one gear ratio reels, um, you got six four to ones. So you got a wide variety. The reason I use the seven one to one or seven three to one gear ratio reels is because, you know, in my opinion, it's the most versatile one. You can throw pretty much anything on it. It's not going to be super slow. I'm obviously not going to use a cranking reel for my jig or I'm not going to use, you know, my cranking reel for a chatterbait. You know, I just want to be doing that. If I'm if I'm needing to slow down my bait, I do it in my reel. You know, most people use, you know, certain reels because one, if you're using a crankbait reel, the only reason I use it or if I am going to use it is because it's possibly going to tire me out. But if I own 30 30 reels, guys, I promise you 20 to 25 of them are going to be either 7 3 to 1 gear issue reels or 7 1 to 1 because when it comes to moving that bait fast and moving that bait slow, like say I'm throwing a fish head spin, I creep that bait on the bottom, guys. But I do that all in my hand. You know, I don't I don't worry about the gear ratio part as much. So if I'm wanting to, you know, work that bait very slow, then I'm gonna do it in my hand. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna reel this thing very slow with the seven one to one gear ratio reel. There's no need for like five gear ratio reel. Um, even when I'm cranking, you know, if I'm especially if I'm throwing like a little square bill, you know, I don't I don't need a crank a big cranking reel for that. Maybe if I'm throwing like a ten XD or six XD, you know, it really relieves all that you know reeling that you have to do but overall guys you know seven one to one seven three to one gear ratio reel is my all-time favorite it's what i use pretty much on everything you know i can throw a crawl on i can throw a spinner bait on i can throw a fish head on it i can throw you know a crank bait on it even if i wanted to a jerk bait um a jig i mean you can throw everything on it guys and it's all about how you're reeling the bait so if you're throwing a chatter bait you notice that particular day that they're eating it very slow slow it down in your reel slow it down in your hand don't worry about all the gear ratios. Don't worry about all that hype, guys. You don't, you don't have to have a certain gear ratio reel for a certain bait. You know, a lot of people say, you know, when when you're going to buy these, you know, I need this gear ratio for this bait, and I need this gear ratio for this bait. If you're looking for a versatile setup, guys, seven one to one gear ratio, seven three to one. Simple as that. Keep it simple. Don't don't overcomplicate it. You know, just stick to the standard stuff this is going to be the most versatile one overall but guys if you guys are enjoying these tip videos you know what to do be sure to smash that like button thank you guys so much for the support lately it's been outstanding be sure to follow me on instagram as well at kick on the rest tv upload daily pictures and videos on there as well and um, that's going to be my most consistent platform with promoting content you know videos i post three videos a week which is tuesday thursday and sunday so stay tuned to those days this sunday i plan on um releasing a tournament video so i have two tournament videos i gotta edit gunnersville college event and also um one of the savannah river tournaments that i fished and i also have another tournament coming up in two weeks i believe on savannah river i fished the same tournament last year so the savannah river classic except this is a two day this year and um, we got second place last year so we're going for that first place this year we're going to be on the river in the next couple of weeks me and chance just practice practicing 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 and i will be filming tip videos along with that so that'd be a good thing i was supposed to go to pickwick this upcoming week but also i already have some absences in one of my classes and we're gonna have to miss a full week and we have to travel as a team so i can't i would have to travel 
Tuesday after class, but they're not allowing me to do that. So I can't fish that tournament, sadly. And I know I promoted that tournament all year. That was definitely going to be the tournament that, you know, this year I know, I, I mean, it's on Pickwick. I love Pickwick. Um, I have a lot of experience on Pickwick. I think I could do really great on that event, especially since it's a three-day bass event. And last year we got a top three finish in uh, a three-day bass event. But got to think about the positive guys. Have the Savannah River Tournament coming up this weekend. I'm going to be releasing a tournament video, so stay tuned for that. Be sure to leave tip videos below that you guys want to see. And also be sure to smash that like button. Make sure you hit that bell next to the subscribe button because YouTube's doing some crazy stuff lately where you actually won't receive the post notification. So... Be sure to hit that bell. Even sometimes when you hit that bell, it does not send a post notification, but that's, I, I'll, I'll go more into depth than that in another video. But thank you guys so much for the support. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm driving them, we're walking in the sky with some shooters. We jump inside of the Buick. You dug a half in the Rugas, a couple choppers, acoustic, and the guitar when the music is some alive and I use it. Get stuck inside of the cuteness. I never lie, but the truth is I'm fucking tired of these losers. And all my life want the food when it's summertime time and the juice. But I'd rather die than lose it. Some matter time for I lose it and strategize with the movement. Of the movement. Walk in the trap like a boss. Oh, how you know I'm dripping with the sauce? Oh, pretty with a face.